Hello, I'm Mark O'Connor from DLA Piper, and you join me to take a sneak peek into the 2018 DLA Piper European Technology Index. Now, to do that, I'm joined by two of my colleagues, Liz Azarko and Kit Burton. Now, looking at the tech index itself, the overall index is a score looking at the suitability, sensitivity of the European regime, be that in terms of tax, regulation and so forth across Europe for the tech industry and tech businesses. Now, looking back to 2016 and looking at this year's index, the overall score is the same, but the underlying figures are quite different. Now, to what extent do we think this, this continuity of score perhaps is indicating a, an increased maturity in the, in the market more generally? Liz, what do you think? I think that's very much the case. I think you know that headline figure doesn't really tell the true picture, so we need to drill down. If we look, for example, at something like the attitudes to cloud, what we're seeing there is a very different picture than we were in previous years. There is a maturity, there is an acceptance that this is the new normal. It's not something to be scared of and it's not unbroken water anymore. I think that's absolutely right. And I think what's very telling to my mind is the extent to which the, the number of organisations in the index who say they don't actually have a strategy for, doing for the cloud has just rocketed downwards. So yeah. I think it's about only 8% now only eight, say that yeah. they have no strategy for dealing with the cloud. Now, that's slightly different to the question as to whether or not those people who say they have a strategy actually have a good strategy or actually live to it. <laughs> and we do have some experiences of clients who've struggled a little bit in terms of how they might implement the strategy that they have. But to give one example, I think it's very clear that organisations have realised that private cloud first is, is OK. Yep. It's, a, it's a safe way of dipping their toe into the water. But they're very quickly going beyond that and recognising that some of the, the historical concerns perhaps they might have had about embracing more public cloud infrastructures are actually not valid anymore. So taking the obvious example of cybersecurity, again, if you look at our tech index scores, we see that the level of, uh, of concern about cybersecurity as a, a potential break to cloud computing is dropping downwards, even though cybersecurity in the round remains a major concern. So what we can take from that is a recognition that perhaps some of these major cloud providers do in fact have a higher level of security than the organisations who are their customers. Mm -hmm.